Yo, what's up guys? Anbuf here. Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Now, in today's video, we're checking out three video editing applications that will really take your video editing on your Android device to the next level. Now, these are not generic applications like KineMaster or CyberLink Power Director. These applications everybody knows nowadays. And if you're trying to watch a you know, video editing app video in 2021, chances are you've already tried these applications. So the purpose of today's video is for me to bring out something new. I have spent quite a lot of time on the Google Play Store looking for some new applications, some apps that actually bring something new to the table, whether it is for easier video editing or for professional workflows. So in case you're here for that, welcome to today's video. With that said, let's not waste any time. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon. And without any further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, so today we have three applications for you. And if you will notice, I have also brought along my Logitech MX Master 2S Bluetooth mouse for me to use the Android phone as actually a screen so that you guys can see clearly what I'm doing. And I can also show you most of the features in all of the applications. All right, so the first app that I really want to talk about and is a new app that I'm sure none of you have heard of is called Node Video. Now, Node Video is a brand new video editing application that has been on the Play Store for quite some time, but uh, somehow I have missed it and a lot of other people also don't know about it. The main point of this application is to give you a very clean as well as beautiful video editing experience with very little clutter. So this is going to be used if you want to make YouTube videos and edit them from your phone. So the first thing once you open up the application is to create a new project. Once you create on click new project over here is the timeline. You can import new photos and videos here. Now just for the sake of today's video, I'm just going to import a couple of photos, but you can also import videos directly from here so once you select the photo that you want to import all you have to do is you know crop it and take it to the exact size that you want it to the reason I am doing this with the mouse is so that you guys can see the complete options on the screen now below that you have the transform tab over here you can you know transfer the different properties so basically the scale as well as you know the positioning of the asset that you have dropped on your timeline click on it once and it's gonna suspend it at the bottom you can see you have the timeline and the play head over here you can scrub through it by clicking on the play button you can also click on the question mark icon here to basically get to know what is what and honestly the reason I really really like this application is because it has a lot of options so you can manage the timeline here you can look at where the different photos are where the different videos are as well as position them over one over the other you can also go ahead and create new media layers create as many layers as you want name the layers whatever you'd like them to be and and definitely last but not the least you also have a color grading tab and while this is a pro tab meaning you will have to buy the pro version the fact that you can access color grading from here and also try it out and see what you want to do with it it's really cool you can also import a lot and honestly this is something that I have never seen before so I'm very very impressed to see this in an application you also have your scopes on the top hand corner over here so anytime you want a little more professional video editing I think this is the app to go for definitely check check it out link will be in the description below all right guys next up we've got action director and while all of us have heard about cyberlink power director this is a relatively new application when it comes to this all you have to do once you open the app is obviously accept and continue their terms and conditions and then go to edit once you click on edit you can write the name of the project and also select the aspect ratio we'll be working with a 16 by 9 footage over here you can select the different sorts of videos that you want to select so for example let's say I want to select this clip and I click Click on the plus icon and next I want to select um, this clip and then I'm going to click on the plus button. Once you're done with selecting all the clips, just hit on uh, the check mark icon here and your clips will be imported. Now you can also remove the watermark whenever you want to and to do that you'll have to buy the pro version which sucks a little bit but then again this is really an app that if you are okay with the watermark it lets you do a lot of things. So you can have a lot of actions, you can speed, you can you know do speed ramp and the best part about this app is that it tells you how to do what to do in case you're new to video editing. Between all the clips you can obviously add from a wide variety of inbuilt transitions 
and you can also go ahead and select the adjustment, the effect, video smoothing, add titles, music, and all of that. Honestly, if you want to create short videos, let's say for Instagram, for IGTV, for TikTok, or for whatever, and it's not a long format video like YouTube, an application like this should let you, you know, easily edit stuff like this, especially if you're shooting portrait stuff. Definitely check it out. I highly recommend it. It's free. Link will be in the description below. All right, guys, last but definitely not the least, we are checking out the most trusted video editing application, something that I would recommend you download from this list, whether or not you check out the previous applications or not. This is Adobe Premiere Rush. And to be very honest, Adobe Premiere has been, you know, my video editing app of choice since the beginning of me doing YouTube. So all the videos that you see on this channel have been edited on Adobe Premiere Pro and I've been a Premiere user for a long time. Adobe Premiere Rush is the same application created by the same guys stripped down for mobile. So this is an app that will let you edit these sort of videos directly from your phone. Of course, it does not have all the features that the PC version or the Mac version has. But honestly, if you're someone who needs some really good video editing done on your phone, I would highly recommend this app. You don't have watermarks here. There is absolutely nothing to worry about. No pro version, no paid ads or anything of that sort. You simply create a new project, start importing your footage, select different types of aspect ratios from here you can also select the different graphics that you want to add you can add titles you can add effects and there's also a specific color section which is really important and while it does not have uh, you know LUT supported features like the note editor but this also has some basic correction tab you know like your exposure your contrast your highlights and your uh, you know shadows and all of that that is really important even in a basic stuff there's also a lot of features here like you can click and drag to rearrange clips click and drag to increase or decrease the size add different sorts of titles on the clips you can duplicate clips you can play them and once you're done with them you can go ahead and export them and honestly i feel like if video editing on your phone is a must and you cannot edit on a PC or on a laptop, then this is one of the apps that you should try because honestly, this is as good as it gets when it comes to video editing on your phone. And well, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. I genuinely hope you guys liked it. If you did, feel free to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Let me know which app you liked the most or if there's any other app other than the ones that everybody knows about like KineMaster and others that you'd like others and myself to check out probably in a future video. With that said, this is Anvab signing out. You guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. And yeah, stay safe. Peace out.